Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about a major severe weather outbreak for the south and southeast for Sunday and Monday. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel and definitely share with your friends and family on social media. They're going to be impacted in the area. All right, so let's get started. Let's first of all take a look at the latest uh, Storm Prediction Center. They have actually upgraded the level four moderate risk severe weather threat overnight and that this is going to be pretty much a long duration event extending anywhere from louisiana all the way to almost south carolina so they've highlighted an area under a level four from basically montgomery alabama to columbus georgia to jackson mississippi to macon georgia albany georgia so there's a pretty good swath of a uh, highlighted area of where it's going to be the greatest chance of tornadoes, very large hail, damaging wind. This is going to be a significant event coming on the heels of last Sunday, where the latest count was 132 tornadoes. That was just incredible. But they've actually backed it up over Texas overnight. So this does include parts of the Dallas Fort Worth area now under a slight risk and an enhanced risk for east texas so we're going to be under the gun for the next uh basically 24 to 36 hours essentially from texas all the way to the to the carolina coast so this is definitely going to be going to be a significant event that is coming up for the south and southeast so let's more or less delve into the details um they've got the Storm Prediction Center has a tornado watch that should likely be issued for parts of East Texas and Southeast Texas. That would include uh, the Houston area, much of the much of Southeast Texas, uh, East Texas extended into Louisiana. So this is going to be the favorite area. We're watching a developing uh, strong disturbance this morning uh, coming in, and that's going to be kicking off a round of shower and severe weather. Uh, for later this morning and in, into the afternoon, that would include ve very large hail, uh, damaging winds, and an isolated uh, tornado threat. So definitely, I'm expecting our tornado watch going to be issued in this area over the next hour. So if we look at the latest uh, composite uh, radar, it basically implies that we're going to be getting those sh showers and thunderstorms. The dry line is going to be moving in. There's a there's a, a cool front that's going to be moving in on the backside. But out ahead of it, it's very warm, deep tropical moisture that's going to be kicking off and plenty of fuel for these thunderstorms going to be kicking off isolated supercells. So basically anywhere from Dallas East. Now, they did include a slight risk for Dallas. So after this line essentially moves through, there could be an outflow boundary that's that leaves behind along with this cool front. So we might have a second round and that's potentially a severe round for uh, the Dallas Fort Worth area extended eastward as this moves on. It gets really cranking uh, for the south and southeast uh, later on today. So if you take a look at the latest uh, CAPE values, the, the convective available potential energy in the atmosphere, it kind of shows that second round after the first round that there's going to be maybe... Uh, energy in the atmosphere is going to regenerate itself uh, to produce another line of showers and thunderstorms. So this is a conditional risk up north, further north for DFW. But down south, it's it's pretty li li likelihood that you're going to be seeing some stronger, th stronger th thunderstorms, especially with Cape values going off the charts here, four to five thousand. So that's pretty rare to see. So definitely be going to be under the gun uh, later on this afternoon into this evening in uh, southeast Texas. And this will only get uh, enhanced as we move on to the east overnight. Now, if you take a look at the, the, the latest uh, significant tornado parameter index, it, it shows that it's really getting going this afternoon. So as, as we have a warm front, and I'll show you here in a little bit, as we have a warm front lifting, uh, from the goal, plenty of fuel to fire these thunderstorms, dew points in the low 70s. And as that cool air starts marching in to this uh, area of the country, it's going to be kicking off those showers and thunderstorms. And a, a significant severe weather threat, unfortunately, looks likely for 
uh, the southeast in a lot of the same areas that get hit last week, but it looks about uh, a little bit further south uh, this week than it did, did last week. But they, they definitely don't need this, but it is, it is coming. And some of these models are looking scary, and I'll show you at the end here. Uh, this is the overall uh, supercell composite. Now, this is just one frame, but just kind of shows you it's getting going here uh, later on this afternoon into this evening into parts of Louisiana, uh, definitely into Mississippi and Alabama again, and it'll eventually get into Georgia and South Carolina uh, overnight. But uh, this area, it's an, it's an expanded area. So once these storms kick off, um, it kind of ignites over this whole boundary here. So it's not gonna be one of those things where it's gonna kick off here. When they kick off, it's gonna be kicking off a, a huge part of the country. So we could have a, a significant uh, tornado outbreak breaking out over a large area uh, at, at the same time, unfortunately. So uh, that's what it's looking like with uh, the bulk shear getting in place uh, later in this afternoon. Pretty high value. You start, you start getting into the 50, 55, 60 range and some of these yellows. That definitely implies there's lots of shear in the atmosphere. There's an extreme amount of updrafts. Uh, definitely signs of uh, rotation. So you're going to be under the gun for uh, potentially significant uh, tornado outbreak, if not some of these long track tornadoes, uh, unfortunately, like you saw last week. So this is definitely a significant event. And you can kind of see with the temperatures uh, later on last afternoon, this demarcation line of the warm front, well into the low 80s and mid, mid 80s uh, to the south. And as that cool air pulls in from the north, where that warm boundary is, that's where you're going to see these thunderstorms explode over a huge chunk of the country. So that's what I'm talking about. Over three or four states are going to be a, lo a long, long duration event. So um, all these areas are going to be definitely under the gun uh, later, later on this afternoon. So if we take a look at the latest uh, composite reflectivity radar, it shows once these things get cooking, that really starts to you know, when you start seeing these little isolated, just discrete little supercells like this with the purples and white showing up, these could be significant events. I mean, so when you see these isolated targets th throughout multiple states, so this is definitely going to be highlighted, this area, and going to be under the gun watching out for these uh, large supercells breaking out uh, this afternoon. Now, if we extend it, this, this continues overnight. So unfortunately, It'll be get going this afternoon, but really get cranking an overnight. So it's uh, unfortunately this is an overnight event too. So definitely be having your safety plan in place. Uh, get a NOAA weather radar and and have and, and take shelter immediately when you watch hear these sirens and warnings go off because uh, this could be an extended period of time. And and this is the latest maximum updraft helicity index now this is basically from run to run meaning from the start of the event to the end of the event and this is scary folks i mean when you start seeing stuff like this on models extending from east texas all the way to the coastline of the carolinas and having these little long duration uh drafts these elongations of of uh, the winds converging uh, this basically implies that this is this could a significant uh, tornado outbreak and long duration track tornadoes. So this is something you don't want to see on radar. And, and unfortunately, uh, it's only being enhanced in every every uh, update. So it, it definitely looks like something, you know, significant is going to be happening th uh, this afternoon into this into this evening. So I wanted to make you aware of you uh, of that out there. This is going to be a significant event, so definitely be uh, have have your weather weather radar available and with all the watches and warnings, and take this event seriously. And uh, please take care and be safe. And I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel and definitely share with your friends on uh, social media. They're going to be impacted in this area. All right. So I appreciate you guys watching. And catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.